everyone. Stream is starting. How's everyone doing today? Hopefully well. I've changed out a bit of my build since we last checked in. Things have happened, so look forward to going over those. Most importantly, level 62 now. I decided that it would be a better idea to work on the less interesting parts of the campaign, the stuff that you've seen over and over and over, and just get that out of the way. I've left the really interesting stuff, so, um, like Katava stuff are going to be on stream, and also the Ascendancy. Because I skipped out on doing the lab, so we're... Well, I've been waiting for the stream to do that, exactly. Uh, I was going to stream seven days today. This is usually our day for seven days to die, but... Well, honestly, I really, really am enjoying this. <laughs> this is a really fun league, so I want to keep playing right now. We will get back to seven days. I'm having fun. So... uh. Damage has been dropping off real hard with our mind skill here. It's really cool. But over time, it has started to lose a bit of damage. So, I have a couple things to do with that. First is taking off returning projectiles and just adding flat damage. Doesn't honestly look a huge amount different. The other thing, and I'm not sure if this will work, but it says it will work, is to add barrage support. I don't know what will this will do. Oh. It's targeted fire. Oh, that sounds amazing. Oh, trap in mind. Is that better or worse? Hold damage. Trap in mind is 1.7 million. And... I did cold is 2.7. Okay. I'm going to swap those out. Also, it'll give me more throwing speed, which will be nice. Okay, so let's see how this goes. We're more likely to have a better time with this if uh, we have the barrage anyways, just because it's better for dealing with Azaro. Uh, I'm really quickly going to go back to town, actually. And change my sentency. 6% additional Physical damage reduction when there's only one enemy nearby, and 20% chance to take 50% less area damage hits. Specifically because the Bizarro fights usually are just one one creature. Sometimes, sometimes there is some. Sometimes there are some minions with them, but generally it is just him, and he does lots of area damage and physical damage, so it works well. Okay, let's start the second lab. Cannot wait because this is going to add a lot of damage, which is what I so sorely need right now. Wow. So it doesn't hit nearly as many things as like the old returning projectiles one did, but like. Wow, is that ever strong? Wrong box. Okay, that's pretty frickin' fun. Plus it just melts the golds, and, like, single target damage has been kind of my issue. More so off-stream than on-stream, but 
it has become an issue. All right, this is the wrong way for the first trial. Light. Yeah, no, it is the first trial because it's the aspirin's trial. Oh, this is actually really satisfying. I am surprised and excited to have because I only just I was looking at my path of building right before this, which is software I use if you're not familiar with it. But check what how good a build is gonna be before I actually use it. And uh it just popped up saying that Barrage support would be a huge damage increase for me. That is awfully loud. Let's let's see if that helps. <laughs> I can use returning. I wonder what returning projectiles would look like with this. Okay, right, let's see what happens. Holy shit! That looks amazing! Fortunately, it seems to struggle a bit with, like, actually targeting him in specific. But it does look awesome. Okay, he's done. That is really cool, though. Hi, Pyroclasm. Welcome to the stream. I'm currently just going through the second lab, because uh, I have gotten to Act 9, but I am I was trying to like hold off on doing anything kind of uh, interesting while I was off camera. So I'm currently using uh, Power Siphon Mines, which are quite a lot of fun. don't know what the whole point of that entire section was. Does that open the door or something? And I just added Barrage Support, which fires directly at certain things, which is really cool. It's actually just made it like super powerful by comparison to before. It has less AoE, but... It's definitely, definitely better for single target stuff. What I really want to try, and I can, I can spend a moment fucking around, that's fine. Swap that out, which will decrease the damage. I'm going to put returning, returning projectiles on this. That doesn't actually help in any way. It's cool. Don't get me wrong, it's really cool, but it's not helpful. <laughs> That's sad. Yeah, before I had Barrage, which was like, I just added that. Uh, it, this is what it was looking like. Oh, hi, Han. Welcome to the stream. That is good to hear. Uh, actually, since you're here, I am going to put my AC on the background and see if it comes around the stream, because it really fucking ruined one of my VODs really hard. <laughs> I lost like an hour and a half of footage. And that was really sad. But it's on right now, so tell, tell me if you hear any background noise from it. 
So it'll mostly only be when I'm talking, so, because that, then the mic is activated. But yeah, I'm kind of concerned, because, like, I do want to make sure that I can actually, ideally I'd like to be able to use the AC while I'm streaming, though I don't need it right now. If you get any peer slash fork slash chain plus returning, then barrage will work wonders for AoE. Huh. Oh yeah, fork it would be kind of amazing. That makes me wonder if I can use a quiver and a wand. It'd be like a really weird combination, but that might work. Because, like, generally, you're only going to find stuff like that on quivers. Unless I pick up something out of my tree specifically. But I don't... I'm not really too close to any nodes that do that. It would, like, be an, it would be an actual investment. Snake pit. Snake pit. Oh, you mean you mean a quiver, not a uh Oh. Hang. Okay, I'll have to look that one up. Thank you for the suggestion. I appreciate it. Halfway through. This sentence will do more than anything else will right now that, for me, though. I take it no one was able to hear the AC? I just turned it off. Oh god. Oh, I I don't. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I Wait, did I get it accidentally? Okay. I'll keep that in mind. I got it accidentally. Nice. Well, in the stream where it was, like, a real big problem, it was pointed at me. So, that was, like, that was like the bigger issue, but now that I, I had it pointed away from me, so I was hoping that it would be okay like that, but whatever. I can go without the AC for... I'll just need to cool off my room ahead of time. Really like to find a dark shrine. There. Always nice to have a good paying job. Sucks about the hours though. Second aspirin's trial. Oh, damn it. Thought I remembered the voice lines. They had. Okay. Your job sounds ass for timing. Wow. That shredded him. I 
Actually, one second. Check this. Not you. Slight issue, cause... Well, actually, I guess I'm doing okay damage for now, but my damage... My damage is mainly... Um, my damage is mainly... Words, words. Physical damage. There are ways to convert it. Look at that later. There is a thing where you can convert from physical to cold damage on the passive tree very easily that I'm going to go right by, so I think I might pull that because I'm going to have like heavy cold damage later on. I Hey, that's an exile. Go away. Bad exile. Yay! <laughs> oh, this is fun. Yeah, this is not at all the build I was intending to do this league. Oh, okay. This is the right character in the right ascendancy, but this wasn't my intended weapon. I was intending to use Firestorm instead. I still might. But this is so cool, because not only does it have automatic power charge generation, it also has culling strike, and a built-in greater multiple projectiles. Like, that's really hard to argue with. An instilling orb. That's really nice. I need those. Yay. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, the brar support is actually amazing. I'm very happy I stumbled into that. I wonder what it would, this would be like with work. That would be so cool. Work with Jane. Okay, Dark Shrine here. Grab the Dark Shrines. And... Oh. And it pointed at the wrong thing. Now there's only one thing. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, nope. That's so awesome. Oh, it's the exact is the exact same thing we got last last labyrinth as well. Oh, wait, that's the wrong way. Well, permanent health and mana regen sounds great. This is why we take the Dark Shrine. Honestly, it's probably not worth it. Or it probably isn't... Man, Azaro is very loud and talkative. It's probably not needed that we have a Dark Shrine, but eh, I like to ensure that no matter what, that what I'm doing will definitely go off without a hitch. And the Dark Shrine makes sure of that. Yeah, fuck you, Azaro. I have winter and returning projectile support. That sounds fun. Tell me how that goes. I'd love to hear about that.
Movement speed if you haven't been hit recently. Sure. I haven't been hit recently, usually. Oh, finally we ascend. Okay. Either I can go with this, and I don't really need the elemental resist or uh, elemental and elemental penetration yet. The crit chance is low, and we'll have both of those two scatter bots. I'll probably take demolitions ex specialist though, because pyromaniac is really important for me to get soon, ideally, because I mean it gives you ten percent life gen all the time and ignite and shock immunity which are just so good i swear that's like one of the best levels like like layers of survivability you can get is the pyromaniac frenzy point okay and we're done here Oh, Snake Pit. Okay, I'm seeing that now. Increase spell damage, increase cast speed. And then you either have cannot chain but can fork, or can chain but can't fork. Oh, well, I will sell my random flask to you. Okay, so that is the second ascendancy. We are wow, that person has big vortexes. We are into Act Nine now, though. Already done most of what I wanted to do. Always thank your trade partners. It's good manners. Okay. So we're mostly through Act 9. We just need to go into the belly of the beast now. I wanted to leave, like, Piety and the Depraved Trinity and Catava, like, ideally. So that is why I'm here. I just killed, like, the Brian King and Laris Lunaris and stuff off camera because, whatever. They weren't very interesting fights. Plus, they were actually, like, super painful, because until I hit level 59, like, 52 to 59 were just awful levels. Just absolutely terrible. I needed, I needed level, like, XP so badly, and it just was not working. Wish I'd thought of Barrage support, though, because it actually is amazing. Oh, I should mention, I did equip a bunch of stuff while we were off, while I was off stream. I have Moon Sorrow now, which is the intended, uh, it's the intended one for the build, because it has massively increased physical damage, which is what is to go with this. I might pick other things, but for now, Moon Sorrow seems to be the best option as far as path building goes. Replace my rings, replaced my amulet. Uh, grabbed a random de half decent shield just because, yeah, I have a new spirit shield at 65, but obviously I'm not 65. Uh, I finally got my Inu's Epiphany at uh, level 61, and that gives you damage, power charge, a uh, damage per power charge, movement speed, etc. It also gives you percent intelligence, which is really nice because I scale my accuracy off of my intelligence and that's like super important because accuracy is actually super hard for me to get for some reason it's almost like it's almost like characters that go up into the witch area generally don't need accuracy because they use spells <laughs> yeah oh that's so cool Do these things pierce automatically Carson. 
fires your wand to unleash projectiles that fire towards enemies in front of you or to your sides. Increase damage and granting a power charge if an enemy is killed or soon after, by or soon after the hit. Crit for more power charges. Okay. Oh, I need. Okay, I need to start putting uh, points into actual power charge, like maximum power charges now, because I don't have anything into them yet, and that would be really nice to have. Thing is, I'm just sitting at three power charges most of the time now. I have one minimum power charge, which is good, but eh. I have multiple methods of power charge generation, so it's not just automatic stuff. That is for more. Yay, alteration. Really badly need max power charge. Ooh, percent spell damage per power charge. And I will steal charge from here, or point from there, and now we have four. I'm thinking of doing Band of the Brotherhood. Or banned. Bad to the Brotherhood, like I did last league with this character, because I'm going to have a bunch of pluses to power charges, but not really to Frenzy. And I can generate Frenzy charges really, really effectively with uh, charged mind support. Okay. You deal a lot of damage. Point taken. Yeah, charge to mind support. Fuck it is. There it is. Twenty-five or twenty-seven percent chance to gain a frenzy charge or a power charge. No, sorry. Twenty-seven percent chance to gain a frenzy charge and a twenty-seven percent chance to gain a power charge when a mind from a supported skill is detonated. Well, oh, targeting enemy. So like I oh, I throw five mines. So I have one quarter power charges generated per three, basically. Minimum. And that's damn good. And that's going to go up. I'm going to stack things up. <laughs> oh, that's amazing! That's awesome. Here we are walking through a giant sentient mountain. It has eyeballs in its tummy for some reason. Because it is a demon sentient mountain, I think. World doesn't make sense. Who doesn't like sentient demon mountains? Oh, I'm getting so many more chromatic items now. So nice. I need chromatics. Plus, they also sell really well if I need money. Oh, I'm not doing too badly for money. Big, so. Hiya! Oh, so good. And I need to get some uh, uh, energy shield leech on my spell damage. That would be really. Actually, does this count as a spell? Oh, power siphon is not a spell, which means that snake pit will not work, because snake pit specifically works with projectiles from spells, and unless like. One of these wordings are wrong, then that's not going to work. Fair. It does, this does give me an idea though. 
I'll walk back over here for a second. Safe. So, if I go to want to travel, and like it would be one, two, three, five, six travel nodes to do, I could get down over to here, and I can get either Pierce. Uh, actually, that's chaining range. That's not chain. Work angle. Additional working. Oh. This doesn't give you the ability to fork or chain, it just gives... okay. There... Hold on. Oh, that's actually really nice. x far files. Oh, so that means that I'm attack speed, not cast speed. Ooh, I need to be careful to make sure that I'm actually putting the right thing in then, because otherwise I might be picking the wrong stuff. That would be bad. Also, one other thing while I'm here. 100 barrier. 30% chance to ignore stuns while casting. Plus 15. Plus 15. So 60% chance to ignore stuns while casting. Here's my idea. Trial of the Ancestors is focused on channel to destroy pylons. Or totems. But if you get hit with something, you get interrupted and then you get stunned. So what I'm wondering is if you can have, like, a cannot-be-stunned character to just destroy pylons and win the game that way. Because you don't actually need to deal damage to anything in the Trial of the Ancestors. You just need to destroy the pylons by clicking on them and not being interrupted. So I have that selected just because I want to try it without the trial. Or without. With the trial. Uh, I wanted to do that on stream. Yeah. Are you are you stuck? Hello? You're stuck. Well, I'm gonna make use of that then. Yeah. That was a lot of snakes. It's almost like I'm in a snake pit. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, my Vol Grace is low. Oh yeah, okay, we're we're prepping for the uh, depraved gun. That's what we're doing. Completely no. Completely forgot that we were here. Chevron's area first. This is surprisingly good at tight quarters. Now that it points in a specific direction, like before, it like was kind of hindered by tight quarters. Now, oh god, not that. That would kind of work since it shoots in a straight line. It just needs to have line of sight, and as long as they're not accidentally LOSing me, I am good. As in, like preventing line of sight. Okay, I'm gonna drag everything together and boom. Oh. And boom. I don't know if it's worth it to do the but I'm still gonna do it anyway. More XP oh. Yep. Yep it. Yo. Bad headless. Skeleton monster thing. Anyways. One of them's called a corpse thief. That's not ominous at all. The important thing you need to remember with grave robbing, though, and stealing corpses, is to not get caught. Because it's only unethical if you get caught.
I, I am just joking. Just just to be clear, I am completely and totally joking. I just like to say absurd things sometimes. <laughs> oh my gosh. So many things. So our next gear upgrade is going to be at uh, 65. We're 63 and a half now. So I need another level and a half. And then we get uh, Malachi's Loop. Which uh, is a shield. And that gives us plus two to power charges. Which is nice. It also gives us more power charge generation. Nice. It gives like a 20% chance to gain power charges on hit. And also spell damage on like um and spell damage as well. Which doesn't sound amazing, but I am hoping to get a wand node that will convert it. Wait, no, I don't need a wand node, because I'm going to be using the crown of eyes, which converts spell damage to attack damage. And that is 67. Unfortunate. Die. What? You're out of... Is she out of range? Wow. Uh. What the heck was that? Boom. No. Man, there's too many things distracting my projectiles. Stop distracting my minds with your stupid little wisp thingies. Ah, uh, oh. Well. Okay, at least I only travel, like, three feet. I die. Okay. Counterclockwise or... 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 Order. Oh, I read Malagaro. That's that's what happened. <laughs> Counterclockwise Malagaro. No. Not bad. Bad demon painter thing. Oh. Leave me alone. And now... Okay. And now... Okay. Starting to get a good concept of how... How often he attacks. Move. Oh yeah, cool. I called that one. No. Go away! You're an ass. Still an ass. Okay. Now I can fit you. No. Bad. Okay. I forgot his greatest weakness. Walking at a at a ginger pace. Just need to keep moving. Can't hit me. Fortunate, I have to stop to throw my mines. I want the staff. Uh, fine. back to town. Then I shall staff. Probably better as a chromatic orb than what it actually reveals. Corrupted blood. 
Crypt oh, oh, and cool. I'm taking. Okay. Go in. They'll tell. Because people are still buying them. Right, rotting cars. Like, where was I supposed to teleport to? <laughs> I'm in the middle of doing a thing. Right. Yay! Ow. Why must you have spinny vortex thingies? No. Should be fine. Oh. Now and harass him properly. Yeah. Oh no, that got him. For a second I thought I wasn't gonna get him with that. Oh uh no he didn't avoid it. Okay. I wanna make sure I can stack it up because I'm using high impact mines for the uh double chance grows on having more mines placed down at once. I know which one of these is the real one, but unfortunately I can't do anything about that because my mine's auto-target. <laughs> Odre! That's... Oh, that's a problem. Not bad. Uh, oh, a life flask sale. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't know what just happened. But, okay. Exit down. Hey, he act to sell things. And they hit the rotting core. And if you took better care of your core, it wouldn't be rotting. Maybe Piety was taking care of the Demon Mountain. The eyeball stomach Demon Mountain thing. Maybe that's why it's rotting now, because it died. Kind of sad. You know, if I had vines in my stomach, I wouldn't be happy either. Maybe it's not even a living... No, it is definitely a living creature, because, like, the witch... And her voice lines talks to the mountain the first time you step into it. I think even the shadow says something. Mysteries of the mountain. Yeah, it might actually just be explained somewhere, and I just haven't bothered to read the lore. Path has always been one of those games for me where it's like, I really like it for its technical prowess. I don't pay a huge amount of attention to the story.
this is a very technically impressive game. Not a perfect game, but it's very technically impressive. So, Dre. Nice. Oh, I think I destroyed. Come on, Killing Striker. There we go. I am for the depraved timid. I'm for the depraved shroomachy. Brave Timothy! No, bad Timothy. Oh gosh. Wow, I actually do a fair bit of damage though. Single target damage is no joke. Eh? Oh gosh. I might die during this though. Very happy that I have Spirit of Yugul. Otherwise, I would not have survived what I just survived. Also, please, please regenerate my life flask. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Should have finished off my level before. I came in here, but I had a plan. That plan was to not think about what was going on. Then my plan failed. Inexplicably. I mean, you wouldn't expect that one to fail, because, like, it's a pretty, pretty solid foolproof plan. But you know what they say about foolproof plans? You always underestimate the fools. Ow. And the depraved Trimity all things. Oh my gosh, I keep saying Trimity. I have winter plus returning projectiles. Not good unless the enemy is in a tiny room. Okay. But does it look cool? That's the important question. Does it at least look cool when you're inside said small room? Yeah, end of Act 9. Time. We will not be long for getting the ossuary, which is the last trial that I need. Then... Ready. Nope, oh, wrong one. Phelum. Dramatic check. And I guess six socket check too, since six sockets can spawn there. If I didn't buy such a dramatically much better belt, I would definitely have used a belt of the deceiver, but oh No it looks unchanged, just secondary projectiles flying backwards. Oh. Bad. I was hoping that the entire, like, eye would bounce, like, return to you. Wait a minute. How does how this roll? Pretty good in the life. Moderate on the elemental damage. Bad on the physical. Uh, I just don't think it's worth it. You know? Seem familiar. Where do I know you from? Oh! 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 Um. This she's the Forbidden Sanctuary person because the Forbidden Sanctuary got added back to the game. That's exciting. And there's a quest in the ossuary for that for the Forbidden Sanc Sanctuary. That's cool. 
Yeah, I'm coming, Bannon. Wait, did I help him before? Like, I found him before. I don't remember helping him. Eh! Legwing, you are very painful sometimes. I don't know if I take a lot of damage or what, but I commonly seem to be in danger. Oh. Okay, well, I didn't need to do that. I could have just hit respawn town, but... Hi there. I'm just weak to poison. Like, really weak to poison. <laughs> I really, uh, I really want to know how the stun effects work in Trial of the Ancestors. We'll have to figure that out soon. I ban then. Figure that out later. Most important thing, pushing forwards, so that yeah. And do Labyrinth. Most important thing is pushing forward so we can do the Labyrinth. And what the heck is this? Where am I? Oh, that's the archive. Eh. Yeah, I didn't want to walk the entire way through the cathedral rooftop, so I figured, hey, might as well just check and see what public parties are doing. Wow, this thing's tanky. Average square. This actually has a waypoint. Yes, okay, that's what I was looking for. Okay. Into a new ossuary. So the most important thing is to find the trial right now. Somewhere in here. Fortunately, this is a level 67 zone, and I'm level 63. I thought I overleveled dramatically. But I guess I was wrong. <laughs> I am still underleveled somehow. And I guess the cathedral rooftop was where I was supposed to be right now. And that's level 64, which is accurate for my levels. Yeah, as soon as we have this trial, I want to go and... The labyrinth is badly need third ascension. I mean, all, all ascensions are really good for this character. Like they're all fairly powerful, but the third has like an amaze has that amazing defensive layer. So I'm hoping to get that soon. I'm slowly pushed away from what I'm trying to fight by all the powerful things. Oh, massive shrine. My character is engorged. Is that a massive character? Are you just happy to see me? Oh, whoa, that was cool. I don't know what that bone explosion was, but I liked it. It hurt, but, like, I would like to use it, I mean. <laughs> um, okay. Can, like, you all just, like, fuck off? Okay, thanks. Why? Okay, something here is protecting everything. And I don't know what. What? What is in this pile? Something in this pile sucks a lot. Nope, no, no, no. 
Whoa. Okay. 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 They're dying. Finally. Okay. Okay, there we go. A bit more stable now. Oh. I mean, I have winter. It does bounce off walls early enough in its flight, but it really needs more projectile speed than I can get right now. Okay. Are you currently playing in ruthless mode or normal mode? I know certain things are more scarce in real mode. Okay. Yay! Level 64! Okay, stop that. Stop smacking me. Oh, it's a lot of gems. Okay, so I got a quest done. Got two quests done. Got a waypoint. And the trial is here. Whatever. Sorry. I'll open a public party so that people grab it while. They are fast enough. Ow. Suck. Mostly because they just, like, they just make it slower. Like, they're not even... They're not even incredibly dangerous. In here a bit more. Maybe I should actually kill things in here a bit. Not like this is a bad place to be. Let's get some XP while I'm here. Wish I had like mark on hit or something. Fortunately, the mines. Don't allow you to use the mark on hit support gem. Because you're not attacking, the mines are attacking. Which is the same reason why Reflect doesn't hurt you when you're using mines. Which is a double edged sword. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's just a that's just a phantom. That's not a real shadow copy. But it's not taking damage. Going back to the Eye of Winter, that's really unfortunate though that it isn't cooler. Like I would love her to be a cool skill. It would be really fun to try Eye of Winter. Like th this is not going to be good. But it'd be really fun to try Eye of Winter with Red Multiple Projectiles, Volley, and put them all into the... That thing called... The thing that makes your all your stuff shoot out in a circle. Fire of Shards. It'd be really cool to see what happens there. Like, if is it just going to shoot, like... 15 projectiles? Like, 15 eyes, or what? Vote through clearing this place. Yeah. Hello, friend. I don't 
don't know what they're here for, but I hope they're having fun. <gasps> Eternal Mana Flask! Oh my gosh, that's exciting! Well, that's not amazing, but that's fine. Paid for been. Oh. Okay. Oh, that was the thing I got earlier. That's what's good. Find life flask. Huh? They don't need it. Because I am taking it specifically for the purposes of selling it. Gem drop. I didn't see it on my map, which wasn't a good gem. Why do my friends hate me? <laughs> That's an interesting name. I don't know. What did you do to your friends, friend? Okay, so now that we've done all this shit, what I need to do immediately, uh, go and do the trial. After I turn stuff in. Then I'll go to the trial. Being a... Oh, so I can just travel to the Actually, with her. Okay, so uh, there is a uh, there is a automatic teleport. Okay, that's really good. They added one for the halls of the dead as well. They so so freaking badly need this for the rogues harbor. The fact that we have to spend one freaking token every time is obnoxious. It, it like it's not even like expensive. It's just stupid. <laughs> okay, that's my rant. Wait, what? Quality quandaries, no love for old ghosts. Oh, that must have been whatever I just whatever quest I just finished. I do. Oh, okay, good. I actually do have a lot of alterations. Cause... Need the full health thing. Yeah, uh, effect is not. Or the effect is not removed when unreserved mana is filled. Thing. Otherwise, I just cannot use this. It is there. Oh, and Corrupted Blood Immunity with it. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, who can I sell to? Ani? Okay, all maps going. This. Oh, take the Forbidden Tone to do. Okay. Let me go here just to get rid of this from my inventory. Okay. Um, wait. Place? Oh. Relic locker duck. Wait, what? Relic locker decoration. Relic locker? Oh, I assume this thing. Okay. I'll take that. Curses. Up for sale. I really would appreciate if they would either give the silver coins a specific spot, 
or give it like some sort of uh, affinity, because I would like it to go into my currency tab, or at least to go into a tab that is universal, like universally set for that. Place the Forbidden Tome and the Relic Altar, then place a Relic. Oh, it wants me to actually start one, like a Forbidden Sanctum run, but I'm not going to. This is what I want. Level 68! This might be a bad idea. Yeah, so this is four levels above me. And my damage isn't perfect. Well, actually, that was kind of amazing. <laughs> okay, well, I did just shred that, so maybe I'm okay. Maybe this is enough. Just can't have too many things at once. No, there's things over here. Yep. Eh. I have, why do I have a Warlord's Mark on me? What the fuck did that? Oh, Eternal Life Flask! Nice! I have about two-thirds of a level, and then I can use both my Eternals. Oh, God. Fuck. No. Oh, my dog, I'm in danger. Please. Mark. Thank you. Okay. And, oh my gosh, this confuses the hell out of my mind so hard. They don't know which one is real, so they just attack... Well, okay, they they just attack all of them, because they, they're they all targets. Targets with equal priority. No, no, Dark Shrine. Okay, is this the right way? Yes. The only way. Reinhard, ah, God! Normal skeletons almost killed me. Reinhard to everyone to hydrate. Okay, I need... I need a Dark Shrine if I can find one. Because if I can get some sort of, like, always crit or something shrine, I will be in so much better state than I am now. Okay, that's all just silver keys. Care about silver key. Never worth it. Why can't I move? I was froze. Here you're divine and flask. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I don't want to be here. Look like a bad idea. It's just a trove anyway. I don't actually know where the dark shrines are in this, so like I'm kind of just looking around to see if I see a blob. Empty space off the map. It's not supposed to. I think these golds at least don't attack you directly. Very easy to kill them. This. This looks obnoxious and challenging. Probably the right way. If the way looks obnoxious, it's probably the right way. Usually that's how it goes. Ah, yeah, Aspirin's Trial. Oh, 
Oh, okay. There's the Merciless Lab. Thank you, Pyro. I appreciate you DMing me that. Okay, so... Oh, there was a Dark Shrine in the first area, which I can't go back to. Or I can go back to, but I'm not going to bother. Okay, so the, after the second trial, there... Oh my gosh, there's a lot of Dark Shrines. Okay, I'll just have to survive. Back! <laughs> okay, so I think the play is to f is to throw the mines in whatever spot makes him the closest target. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, they really they really do love to trap the correct path. It makes it really easy to tell which path is the right one. Just look whatever's the most obnoxious. And you're either going to find the right path or a trove. One of the two. Usually you can see the trove, though. So, yeah. Well, I know for sure that there is no Dark Shrine here, so I don't have to worry about wandering around. <laughs> okay. And to not walk onto fire. Okay, thanks. I can do this. Okay. Kill off some of these skeletons. I'll hit the timed crank. Throw the smoke mine, run through. Grab the switch. Run through. Grab the other switch. Go over somewhere. Go over somewhere. Ugh. Wait, is it the right way? Oh. I didn't think that was the right way, but that's okay. Throw some stuff down there. There's certain spots where they always put monsters, and I kind of know what they are. Like, there's always going to be, a, like, two packs of monsters, usually a gold, right over here. This is a slightly different tile set than I was expecting, but... There usually is something. Usually behind the two statues when you come out of it's gonna be some sort of little open area where they have a ton of they usually have a gold pack. Okay, walk slower. I can kill you before you think. Number five, which I'm looking for something. Hard to read maps. If I remembered where I was, it would make things easier. There we go. Okay. That area is a dead end. There's is a door here. I'll just kill whatever that stuff is. Oh. My stuff wasn't really shooting far enough to kill it. Okay, so I was on five, so I'm going to go to six. 
S X. I don't know where the oh Gold Key and Gold Door are the same one, right? Because this isn't the final lab where they split them up. I wonder why I couldn't see couldn't see a golden key on the map. No. No splody. No splody. No. No. Bad. Bad meteor things. I. Uh... No, no. Those meteors terrify me. Like, a couple of those probably can kill me. Where is the door slash key slash door slash key? This is the door here. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now, different directions. I I'll have to remember to like check which direction is the right one. I can see that on the map, on the uh, the lab map. Need to not die to traps. Traps will be kind of dangerous. Can I? I can't actually hit any of that stuff. Oh my gosh, that worked! I did not expect that to work. Well, I just skipped the entire thing. Must be a golden door. Yeah, I've I've heard this. Hey. So, if I have this correct, I think it's the left door is the correct one. Is it? Is it because people frequently attempt to liberate you of your money slash gold? File? Oh. Skeleton. File? Yes, I went the right way. Okay. So, assuming... No. Oh my god, shut up, Azaro. Once I beat this, God, shut up. When I finish this, the next area is going to have a dark shrine in it. Wow, my game actually lagged a bit because of that. I know that you can get bonus keys by waiting for him to charge, but I'm not going to do that because I am afraid. Okay, glad to know I'm born for this. Ugh, I'm still four levels below this area. Okay, so there's a dark shrine somewhere in here. Somewhere. I think the dark shrine is probably going to be essential from beating the last one. Because the last trial is going to have a bunch of traps in it. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. If I'm reading this map right, then the dark shrine... No, okay, never mind. I thought it was pointing the Dark Shrine was going to be the southern part of the map, but no, that's just where it denotes that there is a Dark Shrine at all. I'm really appreciative that there are people who just map out the, the labyrinth every single day. 
Like, that's some determination and dedication to that. Silica Halls. This is the lower one. I want to go to the other one, ideally, because the other one also has a dark shine. And also, I should keep leveling, because if I can get that last 10% of XP, I can use my better flasks. Actually, I can equip my awesome spirit shield as well. And then I can have six power charge. Like a boss. Yes, sorry. Is this a dark shrine area or labyrinth grove area? Not tell the difference. Let's kill some of that stuff. Okay. Eh. Oh, is this is this the shrine? Wait, what? I'm very confused. What happened? Oh, okay. No, I need to go back. Okay, so that was so I could go around and get the lever, but I still need to get this lever. No, I don't. What's going on? Most appreciate that they do that, even though most leagues I only need to run it a handful of times. Yeah, I, yeah, it is really awesome. There must be like a Discord or something out there where they plan it all. I assume it's because some people actually make their money by running the lab, because they are freaks and enjoy it. No, <laughs> I'm kidding, they're not freaks. But I have to say, I cannot understand, like, how you could enjoy this, this, like, or like running the lab regularly, like I don't mind running it a little bit to survive to like get my tendencies necessarily, but I don't know. I don't. I couldn't. I couldn't handle doing it even for like the enchantments. Really, like I don't. I don't farm the lab for enchantments really at all ever. I just buy what I need. I don't know which one of these, do these lovers does something. Or do all these lovers do? Lever. Lever. Oh, they open the door from monsters. Great. Great, great. Moment ceases, tension mounts. Oh, awesome. Okay, I think that turns off the uh, traps in the boss room. Eleven traps are disabled in the Aspirin's trial. Okay, that might be enough for me to just win. Fight right there. That could be a deciding factor. Okay, so I want to go through the next door, which is right here, conveniently. Okay. I think this is the right way. And this area also has a dark shrine in it. I know I'm being needlessly careful, but... Again, I am four levels below the area. <laughs> so... Oh! Right here! Nice! I just wandered into that one without even looking. That's very, very nice. <gasps> Always crit. Liver paint exquisite. I think that that works on mines, maybe. I don't know. 
That might work on mines. Yes, level 65. Okay, that's really good. And uh, Terminus Estus. I'm going to take that thumbs up, as they probably do. Or probably does work on it. Awesome. Okay, well, I can swap in this flask here. Italy. That. When I get to the trial, I'll just have to... Other thing. Well, I hope so. I'm only worried because of, like, the... Like, I don't attack, but my mines do kind of thing. Like, certain things affect your mines because they affect you, and certain things only affect your mines, and certain things only affect you. It's confusing. Nope, that's not the right one. I need to keep moving. Okay. That away. Okay. I really, really think the uh, Void Sphere is important for something like this. And it just got even more important when I swapped over to, to Barrage Support. Because it pulls everything together, so they're more likely to all get hit by the same lines. I'll get my skill point, but I don't want to do that until I know it's safe. Also, I'm going to stop to switch shields anyways when I get to... and blasts when I get to the dash, so I might as well wait a second. Or... okay, that's not... It actually is... here... You... Are an ass. Stop following me. Thank you. No. Must keep their press. Oh, god damn it. I get it wrong every time. Wrong button. Roger cut. Well, okay, I'm not gonna get corrupted blood in this, so I can swap. Fine. I can swap safely. S to terminus S to really is only worth money if it's ink. Help me. Okay, let's see. Well, dope. It gives you me an extra hundred raw energy shield. That's good. Extra power charges. Lose all power charges when reaching maximum power charges, which sucks, but should be fine. You know what? Actually, since it shocks me, I'm not going to put that on until I take I finish this trial. Then I'm going to have shock immunity, <laughs> and then I'll be fine. Okay, I'm gonna change what I was doing. Travel this way. Get that last power charge there. Take this off too because this maximum power charge is important. Okay. Oh yeah, I can walk on these now because they're not dangerous to me because I turned it off. Fine. 
That's why Dark Shrines are amazing. Ow. I just need to throw one volley and run. I, I need to not try to stack a ton. Because I'm not... I don't have time to stack. I don't have time to stack. I'm just going to do this the safe way. Nope! I tried to go for a second volley. That wasn't smart. So close. So close to culling range. No! Not right now! Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh! Oh, my, my flasks were all out. <laughs> if I didn't have Culling Strike, I'd be fucking done. Oh, I want this flask. Ugh. Sure, I'll just pick that. Okay, that was scary, but third ascension, merciless lab, better frank speed, lots of regen, and now I have no downside to using Alakai's loop. Let's see, 966 energy shield to 1173, wow. That is 200 extra. Okay, that flask is obviously worth more than I've put it up for, so I shall list it for a chaos. This has max spell damage on it. But I'll see if it sells for a chaos. Okay. Oh my gosh. I can't... That Azaro fight was so close. Oh, that was terrifying. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm going to go take a breather. I'll be right back. Uh, I'll make it a uh, five minute intermission. Or, you know what? Let's do ten minute intermission. Take your time. You know, water, stretch, all that stuff, and I'll be back very shortly. And I'm back. I just left the plaza and head over to my hideout. So I'm just looking at my charges page right now. And I have... I can get seven power charges now that I have my ritual equipped. I get 58% critical strike chance per power charge. I always have seven base. I get 20% spell damage per power charge, 10% wand damage per power charge, and 8% mana regeneration rate per power charge. That's pretty freaking good. I do intend to add the uh, Grand Spectrum to add minimum power charges to my build eventually. But I honestly haven't even bothered to look at their price because I'm sure it's pretty insane.
However, we have some things to do. Most importantly of them all, let's go find the Staff of Purity. Okay, so my regeneration does not make me invincible. Got it. <laughs> I was actually I was trying to see like how much damage I could, could withstand while still throwing mines. Like my my regeneration's really good, but it's not perfect. If my health was higher, my regeneration would be better. Since it's percent based, house based, since it's not flat. I shall take a shredded shrine. I shall go around the other way because I'm going the wrong way. I intend to kill Katava this stream. I don't I don't even intend to end the stream on Katava, like I intend to go past him. That is what we're going for right now, is Katava. I mean, okay, we're go we're going for the staff of purity and then innocence and then Katava, but we are going for Katava. That is our goal. And entering the end game. And thankfully, I already have enough resistances that I will be completely fine. Even after I lose 30%. I, I'm 160, 195, and 134 for resistances right now. <laughs> Uncapped. Quartz Quartz. These mines are just so satisfying. I wonder what this would be like if we did if I did this exact same build with a dead eye instead of a shadow. Because, like, I get some really nice damage and other things. Damage and survivability from being a saboteur specifically. But, I don't know. Deadeye is pretty cool. And Deadeye is basically focused on projectiles. Not even necessarily bows, just projectiles. Yeah, they really... Extra projectiles and chain do seem really good. I'm gonna need to look into that other projectile node. The just, like, attacks have one extra projectile thing. Because that might be worth Maybe not, but maybe. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's a fair bit of them. Ah, oh, now we're just shredding packs. That's so nice. I'm not even worried about the Katava fight being particularly long because of how good these mines are. Also, Frost Shield is awesome. Cast One Sun Frost Shield is very good. <laughs> I need to 
to get some like on hit effects or something because this this character seems really good for that since I hit a lot. <laughs> I believe I get right now 25 projectiles per throw. That's five mines and five projectiles per mine. I really wish Mark Skills were instant. Because I keep getting interrupted when I try to use them. And I can always get faster casting or something on it. Yeah, sure. I'll stun things. Maybe I'll find six link from the ball vessel. Oh, eternal meta flask, nice. Ten percent item quantity coming in. Watch. Now. Now, no electric things. Bars slowly level out. Just thinking about where I should put my mark skill, like in my final build. And I'm thinking I will do a four link travel setup uh, where I have portal, faster casting, smoke mine, and sniper's mark all on this, like the same piece of gear. I don't think I need anything else for the mark. I'm not casting the attack myself, so I can't use mark on hit. It doesn't need AoE like hexes do. Hehehe. <laughs> Kill them off screen. Those are not good. Oh well. Myself in the uh, mana flask. And those sell. Usually most modifier combinations, someone needs them. So you just transmute whatever eternal flasks you get and then put them up. Like just for chaos, and they usually sell for this early in the league. Especially because people need eternal flasks badly at this point. We're still only there's only like the fourth day of the league after all. This is really cool. I like shooting around corners. <laughs> That's so satisfying. God, I really cannot wait till I get my crown of eyes. It's like the most I think it's the most DPS of all my unique items add to it. Okay, we're finally in here. 
Okay. And now we leave. No, I... I'm not gonna leave. But I will walk farther away. Let my minds take care of everything. Ow. I'm not actually due to have Grace in my final build, but it's really nice right now. Honestly, like, I'm set up to have Zealotry in my final build with the Crown of Eyes, but it might not even be as good as Grace, honestly, because it'd be really good to have extra defensive layers. Because all I really have right now is my regen and my post and my flasks. Evasion rating. My health is only ever going to get up to 3200 based on what my path of building's looking like, so more defensive layers are good. And maybe just more health too. My path of building for this isn't finished because I only discovered this build between streams on uh, hey was it? I think I discovered on Saturday it was like this this build combination and I started I realized on Sunday that I needed to like actually make a build for it. So I've only had a few days to like refine it. I'm definitely going to try to simulate having a dead eye instead of a saboteur, though. Cause it might be worth it. Let's see. Awesome, Jesus. Okay, yeah, you can get pulled into the void here, and I will attack from a distance. Ow. Then I'll attack from a distance. Ow. God. Life flask. Need p lead flask charges. Things keep hitting me. Stop hitting me. I'm hitting something up there. I need to remember to pick up a quiver and see if I can equip it with a wand. Because my spirit chain shield is really nice, but... Oh my gosh, I wish I could equip... Multiple quivers at once. <laughs> By which I mean, like, dual wield quivers. Like, don't have a weapon. And then just cast spells. I don't see why dual wielding should be unique to just things you hit things with. I think dual wielding shields or dual wielding. Quivers should be allowed, even if it is stupid. I know, right? Why mana flask? Maybe to shock. Sure. Should be mobs right down this. But the stairs, yep. Next set will be around, yep, around the pillar. Nothing?
Ugh. Lots of mobs. Oh, I need to shoot down here now. Maybe I shouldn't have angered everything out there first. Oh, well. Ah, there is a blue pack up there. Get level 66 soon. Cannot wait. I'm pretty sure it's 67 for the Crown of Eyes. No, oh, it's 69. Damn it. I mean, nice, but damn it. I have to say the obligatory internet. Wow, I didn't even need a sniper's mark that gold. Okay, that is like four blue packs at once. That's a whole lot for at once at this level. Money and run. Oh, are they not smart enough to come over here? Might not be. I'm attacking from pretty far away. Yeah, 66. Yeah, I need to come around the corner before they were actually interested in coming over to me. Okay, heavy quiver. No, I can't equip a quiver with a wand. Bad game design. No, I'm kidding. I'm pretty sure I can put a quiver on my back and hold a stick at the same time. Don't know why you're preventing me. Oh no, your hands are too full with that single small stick. I could put a quiver on my back and have a wand and a shield. I could have four wands in one hand. They're pretty thin. I think they discriminate against quivers and shields. They discriminate against offhands. Uh, hopefully this won't be too rough of a fight. Take my mines increase damage thing back again. Okay, and mark and boom. Only, only these did a little bit more damage. I mean, that looks amazing and cool, but unfortunately, ow, 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 stop that. Unfortunately, they only do like chip damage each. I guess that just means I need more projectiles. 
four projectiles. Oh, if only Rain of Splinters also worked with mines and not just three totems. Ow. Ow. No! Ow! How did you hit me from over there? I call bullshit. Where are you, Innocence? Oh. Oh, right, he doesn't turn into Innocence. Innocence is... in... Bannon? <laughs> Don't actually know anymore. Innocence is... soul buddies with someone, I'm sure. Okay, I'm going to stick the rod into Bannon. Boop! Well, that's never happened before. Usually when you stick your rod to someone, they don't become a deity. But I mean, hey! Whatever floats your boat. Okay. Back I go. My extra chromatic. Actually, let's talk to Whalem. From check. Why, but all the socket colors just seem to blur together. That is not worth it. Because there's so many sockets on the screen, I'm just like, I don't know what's going on anymore. I just realized that the uh, AC has been on the background since the since the intermission. I really hope that hasn't been a problem. I feel like someone would have said something, but I don't know. Did anyone did anyone like especially notice it? Okay, that's good. I don't know how I managed to go an hour and a half last time with no one noticing the AC being on. Like, it was really fucking loud last time. But I'm glad that is not a problem now. You know what? I'm going to change this chaos. Time for this to become a one chaos tab. None of this is going to sell that price. Unless it has corrupted blood. Oh, or the flask effect thing. That's Okay, that should I can sell all that stuff. That's one of these class of like a lot of something.
I don't want just a different flask back. Okay, well, I'm 20% with a flask still. Or an air. Okay. Well, we have innocence now. That means that we should probably just go do it. I was considering the reliquary, but now that means we should just go do it. Go kill Kadava. Get out of the way. Boom. I mean, I guess boom. As we're heading to Katava, this I will give a little reminder to everyone. If you uh, have not subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you do, or follow, or subscribe to the YouTube channel. It means a lot to me, and it helps me a lot because it gives me a chance to actually get towards affiliate on Twitch and monetize on YouTube. It means that I could actually do this as a part-time job, rather than having to have a full-time job and this, which makes my content much worse. Right, nice. Hey. Yeah, mines. Mines. Makes you wonder if you can do like ballista totems with power siphon or probably can. It is an attack. How are some of these mines do not feel like they should be missing when they're missing? He kind of just stopped when he stood beside me and didn't do anything. Yeah. Bob his Harold's hurt. I'll probably need to try and uh, finish leveling level before I get to Katava. Otherwise, I'm most likely going to fight. I want to do that. I'm wondering how Tornado Shot looks with that up. Oh, that is a good point. Uh, does Tornado Shot require... Oh yeah, it definitely requires a bow. Just wondering for a second if I could do it with... Uh, whatever the fuck I use. Wand. That's the word I'm looking for. Well, maybe I'll see about getting a wand and, uh, or not a wand, maybe 
Actually, I have a bow in my bank, and I can buy Tornado Shot. Remind me when I'm back in... When, I'm, when I've killed Katava, when I'm back in my hideout, and uh, I'm interested too, I'll check it out. I love theory crafting, so anyone ever wants to come and talk about theory crafting on stream, feel free. I am here for it. I have far too much investment in this game. <laughs> And to know far too much about it. Ooh, ten alterations and alchemy and half of half of one of each. Okay, that's not bad. All right, nineteen. That should be. Ah, oh, that wasn't enough. No. Ooh. I do wish that my stuff did more damage. What? Actually, I'm twice swapping Grace out for what I'm supposed to be using, which is good. Let's see what this works. Because like, I, I have both of them equipped right now, I just haven't been using it because I need the reservations. I, I can't use both because mine's reserved. And I won't have enough mana to reserve. And mine at once. Remember that I am like uber squishy. Uber squish. But, oh god, that hurt. That didn't go so badly. Like, I feel like I definitely feel a difference in damage. And if I had that passive, the like the fourth sentency passive, one that gives you like extra damage based on element to elements that are on things, I would probably be doing much more too. I might not get enough XP to level up on the way there. That is what it's looking like. And if I die, I definitely will. Hey. And even one pierce would actually make a huge difference. I swear there's a projectile that that lets you, like, a basic, unique projectile, or a basic, unique jewel. Did I say a projectile that lets you pierce? No. A basic, unique jewel that lets you pierce with projectiles. One of, like, the survival ones. The basic ones that you get during the campaign at some point have not seen for whatever reason. Either they removed them, or I have not seen them. I don't know. Some more over here. Yeah, everyone 
everyone into the void. Need to get increased AoE on that or something. I wonder... Okay, that probably wouldn't work, but I'm wondering if I can put maim support on a spell. Because I do mostly physical damage still. So I do want to change that. Oh, peer support! I completely forgot about that. You're right. I forgot that was a thing. All right, there we go. Run! <laughs> I am taking this dude down, and he is... Zest, so... That's pretty good. Eh? Oh... I got way too close to death there. I thank you. Oh. I'll just detonate in your thing else. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to click it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fine. Fine. <laughs> Sealed basement. I remember little areas like this back in Diablo 3 that were so exciting to find off of like the main path. Ah, a little surprise. Yeah. I think they actually just buffed all side areas too. Really. I take those for myself. Oh, good, my skeletons can body block. Well, I do damage. Nice. And a resist. How I'm over 200% in most of my uncapped resistances. <laughs> yeah! That was the boss. Spell boss. Oh, okay. And I also got a midnight. I assume midnights are still worthless, though. Yep. Wait, the molten. The vol molten shows 5 chaos? Why? That seems. Sick. Well, I'll level a little bit then. It might make it more. Desirable. I mean, Molten Shell is a really good skill for most characters. Oh, I forgot to set up before that. Augmentation. I might be able to finish leveling before Katava. Really hope so. That vol side area, I think, what might have made the difference. Ooh. Oh. No. I oh I can't reach over there. My mind scan though.
Oh, Chieftain and Vol... Or a Chieftain and Molten Shell. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, Chieftain is an armor character, even if it's the unrelated. It's still a good guard skill for any armor character. I'm really curious about the Chieftain stuff, because... Like, the biggest thing is when stationary distances are dramatically lowered of your enemies. Uh, it used to be your resistances, your enemies are zero. Um, and then they made it different. I don't know, though, if the difference is that... Like, because before it said zero, and now it says minus ten. I don't know if they if it sets their resistance to minus ten, or if... It just add, gives them minus 10 resistance. Because the difference between those two things is very big. And I need to actually go back and read it again. I want to know the difference. I was very sleepy and high when I, when I read that, so I don't really remember. Twelve percent left. But we're running out of canal. Badly running out of There's the fight right there. I could also just try to do the fight death list. I could just be a ballsy fucker. It is so cool when they all trigger. Oh, there's a pile of rubble there that's getting in my way. You know, not having grace does not actually feel like a huge difference, I admit. I'm still just about the same level of squishy. I mean, I guess the two options are, as always, uh, you don't need to be able to take a hit, you just need to be able to kill anything before it gets to you. <laughs> Then you're fine. Uh, hmm. 92%. Okay, going with 92%. Let's see. Let's see how much XP I have left when I'm done. I'm going to try to lose nothing. Holy shit, he takes damage fast, actually. That's surprising. I'd really like to come out of this with 92% XP if I can manage that. What the fuck? Well, okay. I'm gonna dump that there. No! God damn it! things what was that okay, that must be katava's herald doing that because katava's herald tends to be the one that kills you No!
at 77. Uh, I, oh, okay, just like stuck for a second. Eh, don't you flame breath so close to me. Let's make sure he's marked this time. Optimal damage. Okay, throw lines. Whoa! Okay, it looks like I managed to skip that phase for the most part just because I managed to kill the heart in time. Good, because minion phase is where I die. Ah, no, 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 oh, shit. Oh, is he at zero health? It might just be the heart left. Back up first before I attack. Oh, calling strike. Yes. I still have 78%. I only lost 14%. Campaign is complete! Zelda Aurea. Do that in a second. Oh, two skill points. Right. What should... Uh... With the cold mastery, I can convert cold damage to, or can convert physical damage to cold. That would be. Take this away, seeing as I'm not actually using my herald yet anyway. Okay. Now I deal more cold damage. As in, a greater amount of cold damage, not more cold damage than... Calorie Shores! Ah, uh, I remember when you could only get this after... Iris. Flask and chain. Nice. Lily... Oh, right, I can't use skills here. I've ever read that dialogue before. R and Alpha.
Not going to take that yet. Trick. I can remember how it works. Okay, yeah. So I have to take one of the maps that he first. Here's the trick. You can get extra maps from him. Arrows. Leave. I can bring bring him to the. No, this doesn't. Basically, he sells maps, and every time you use one of his missions, you lose the ability to get maps. Or like, or like his his inventory resets. That's what I'm trying to say. And if you don't buy the maps you need before that, then it resets and you lose for the chance to buy them. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, let me add a check. Okay. So... Supposedly, these are worth five chaos apiece. I will list one for five chaos and see if it sells. Calls this as I expect. It really is. <laughs> Do not need. I don't need to. No, I can ignore that. I will do maps later. No, I won't. I'm going to do my first map. Because I want to do my first map with all of you. Can I please use my map device? I don't. Please tell me I don't have to. Oh, god damn it. Give me my map device. <laughs> Hate losing my map device every league and having to prove myself to him and get it back. Let me do stuff in my hideout. I'm always going to do stuff in my hideout. Okay. First map. Arrows. And this stuff is level 68, and I am level 66. Gotta be kind of careful. Ow. Gotta be kind of more careful. Holy shit, what is wrong with this thing, and why is it... Oh, it's oh, it life regen, and I don't have enough damn... Fuck. <laughs> Those were some angry goats. I may not be strong enough yet for this. See? Totally not strong enough to kill that rare. Well, okay, I know Barrows. One thing I do know about Barrows is that get into the boss arena, there's nothing else in there. The boss. So, uh, no, teleport, teleport. 
Thank you. No. No. Yep. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, there is a pack in here. Ah. Oh, there's two packs in here. Ah, and the boss. Can't forget about the boss. Kinda scary. Ah. Oh, actually, that did like a quarter of her health. That's pretty good. For having just gotten apps. Yep, she's down to third. And dead. Oh, first map done. Okay. I have no idea what the fuck I'm gonna do. That, what is that? All hands. Your maps have 40% chance, plus 40% chance to contain a random master encounter. Modifier is the chance to grant an additional master mission on map completion. Instead, apply the chance for that master to be randomly encountered in the, your map at 150% of their value. Your maps do not grant master missions when completed. So, you don't get master missions anymore, but there's a, you have a huge chance of getting them to pop up. Don't really want that myself. <laughs> Doesn't sound like something I want. That sounds bad, in fact. Oh, uh, yes, they're premium bullshit. Oh. Hey. Okay. No, don't want to die. Ah! Ah! There's a gold here now! Uh, I keep backing away from them, and I'm backing into other mobs. Another turn of life last nice. And another silver coin. Goat, stop attacking me. We're bad goats. That's hitting some. I need not have multiple goats jump on me. That will be bad for me. Okay, got that. Okay, let's see if I can outpower this thing's regen. For just sheer damage. Kinda. But he's out damaging me. Which kinda is a problem. Okay, Vol Grace, please save me here. On, yes, okay. That was really rough. I do appreciate that things with, like, the life... I think, like, the life recoup passives, like, the recovery ones, there's some... I think there's, like, under the mastery, there's something that prevents other things from regenerating life near you. The recovery mastery. Nearby enemies have 50% reduced life regeneration. Yeah, that, for example. I should see if I can increase my percent life regeneration somehow, because I have, well, I mean, I have, I have percent life regeneration right now, and if I can get percent health regen, um, rather than just, per sorry, percent health regeneration rate, then it will help build up my percent health regeneration. Don't know how big a thing that is, though. 
Like, I know you can get mana regeneration right and meta regeneration. Not like Well, I am getting through this slowly and I am going to evolve evolve? Oh my gosh, I've been playing too much Vampire Slayer. I'm gonna evolve into my final form. Obsidian Cat. Now I will be able to actually level up to sixty seven. I learned Vine Whip. I need to include just that one clip of just me saying I I learned Vine Whip into the into the stream highlights and just have it be completely without context. Ow, oh, god damn it. I was about to level. No! Garak, you're an asshole. I don't know why. Just annoyed. Wealthy. That over. Nice knowing that I died. No. It's nice knowing that I can throw mines at a range. It's not nice knowing that they can just, like, fucking destroy me if they feel like it. And they usually feel like it. I will, com I will full clear this map. Or more or less full clear it. I don't care if it's, like, 100%. But, like, I want to get most of it. No. Nope. Me alone. That leap, that leap slam, that's really dangerous. That one in particular, yes, that, that thing, that thing that they just, that's hurt. Ow. Okay, well, I killed something. Something over there, too. Oh, if he leaps lands me, I'm dead. I'm not going to survive a goal. If the white mobs can do that. No, you don't. I like my face where it is and unsmushed. Thank you very much. Yeah, you can die now. I'm just firing at a distance now, even if I don't know if there's anything there to keep me alive. Oh, I missed your message earlier, Pyro. Sorry. Tornado shot mine, fi mine combo sounds like fireworks, though I don't have minefield support yet. Okay. Armaco's sun's light. Nearby enemies' fire resistance is 0% against damage over time. Fire resistance is 0% against damage over time while you're... Okay, that's not accurate. That's... that's Path of building's not up to date, then. Because they changed it. Like, the day before launch. I assume it's going to come in the release where they add the, the new... Because, like, Locust Mine isn't in. I'm going to stay away from you.
There we go. 90% XP again. I feel like I've been here before. Ninety one per cent. Not like how many things there are coming. Ninety five per cent. Okay, ninety seven per cent. Run away. Any goats? Yay, 67, finally! Now if I die, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Except for, it hurts my pride. No, it doesn't hurt my pride, I don't care. Okay, that's, that's more than enough. Eric, come to my hideout. And give me my... Map device. Again. Stop taking it away every league. Oh, cool. It even moved the, the remaining portals. With... Okay, so. First Kirak. When, you're, when you finish your first map. And you talk to him. He comes over to your hideout. You can now buy stuff from him. Buy anything you don't have done. Or don't have a map for. Like your own this is like your best chance to get maps that you need. I already have an arena. Bone crypt I already have. I have bone crypt. Okay. I have all of that. Okay, and quite a few maps now. Good. Okay. Just gonna sixty flasks. Hey Pyro, need any level sixty or sixty five flasks? Or anyone else who's playing is watching. I already have one. Ah, uh, okay. Fair enough. Take life recoup or something. You were being or something, because life recoup itself probably is actually not that good for me. Take that. Take that one back. And I don't have a jewel for there. I can have a lot more health suddenly. Yay, 200 more health. That's really good. 
Oh man, okay. So we've been going for about three hours now. I think I'm ready to call it. Oh, we did obscenely well, though. We did the second lab and the third lab, finished the entire campaign, and did our first map. That is really good. Oh my gosh. I might end up doing uh, the last lab off stream as a video for the for the YouTube channel. That uh, might end up doing that, and like all of these, like all of my lab attempts are going to go up on the YouTube channel anyways. But uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I just posted in chat. Uh, remember to follow the Twitch channel if you haven't already, and yeah. Yeah, I'm glad. Oh, I also just posted a Path of Exile video earlier today, too, on the uh, channel. They're only, uh, I have one yesterday, it's five minutes, and one today that's nine minutes. They're just the uh, highlights from the streams, the past couple streams. Okay, thank you all for joining me. For everyone who is here and has been here, I really appreciate it. It makes the game so much more enjoyable to have other people around. Thank you all so much for watching, and have a full day slash night.